yet another electronics project. This time I want to show you a simple circuit which I often use to do high side switching especially in uh, automotive applications or um, in uh, off-grid solar systems. That's why this circuit is optimized for a uh, 12 volt system. Uh, so the uh, usual voltage here is 9 to 16 volts but if you want you can go up to 20 volt this is the maximum which can the uh, MOSFET handle here. So what is this all about? If you want to do uh, DC switching with a microcontroller or any other small um, signal voltage you usually would do this with an N-channel MOSFET uh, here in the uh, ground line here but uh, sometimes in vehicles or boats or whatever you need to switch the high side, the plus pole of your power source because um, it is done this way in uh, vehicles uh, because um, the negative, the ground is the chassis of the vehicle so all the switching is done in the positive side uh, so let me quickly go over the circuit how it works here is your uh, signal coming in from your microcontroller or theoretically any other signal um, 5 volts coming in um, feeding uh, the optocoupler here I'm using an optocoupler because this gives me two options either I can use completely separate ground circuits here or I can simply tie them together that's why I'm using an optocoupler it is not strictly necessary but okay so here the 5 volt triggers the optocoupler it's a classic PC817 cheap optocoupler I have here my 680 ohm resistor in the um, LED control LED which is also not necessary <laughs> Okay, the uh, transistor of the optocoupler switches the uh, gate of the P channel to ground and so it gets turned on and when it's uh, not activated the gate of the P channel uh, MOSFET gets pulled up and um, gets turned off. This voltage divider here is optimized, as I said, for um, this voltage here because the maximum gate voltage of this MOSFET here is 8 volt. I don't want to exceed that. So if you want to use another MOSFET and another uh, voltage here, 24, 48 volts, whatever, you have to take care about this here at the voltage divider okay so not that complicated really but a little bit more complicated than using a simple n-channel MOSFET okay so here is the circuit <coughs> uh, my signal from the microcontroller comes in here 5 volt. Here is my 680 ohm uh, resistor for the control LED. As I said, I I have uh, made a connection between these two grounds here, uh, but I could also break this connection here and use completely separate uh, ground circuits. Here is my optocoupler with its 470 ohm uh, current limiting resistor okay here I hope you can see that here inside is the voltage divider these two resistors here and the p-channel MOSFET on a heatsink yeah that's all you need and I think 
it's time to test it as usual. So here is my setup. Uh, here I have my <coughs> 12 volt lead acid battery. Uh, I tied the grounds together so uh, the minus pole or ground of the battery is shared here goes to the uh, Arduino and to the circuit here so virtually uh, I made a connection between here and here but as I said uh, you can separate the grounds if you want to or if it's necessary okay here comes the plus pole goes into the um, p-channel MOSFET here uh, and get switched by the MOSFET and feeds the lamp here and the ground of the lamp is connected to the minus pole here. Yeah, my Arduino is currently uh, uh, supplied from uh, this power supply here but you could also supply your microcontroller from the same power source that's not a problem as you see it's working and uh, now I will show you the specs of the transistor Wait a minute. where is it P channel here it is so um, the maximum voltage which can this P MOSFET handle is uh, 20 volts and uh, 24 amps but to be honest I would not recommend to go beyond 10 or 12 amps even with a proper heatsink but still that's enough that powerful enough to do the job. I have here a 35 watt halogen lamp and it works perfectly fine. So if you have an application or a project in mind where you need to do DC high side switching feel free to use my design here and as usual I hope this was a bit helpful or at least interesting for you and please subscribe share uh, leave me a comment and thanks for watching